Hey, fourth graders. Today, we're going to be working with shape patterns. And let's just go ahead and start with this one. We know with any pattern, the trick is to take a moment and analyze what they're giving you. These are big clues to know how the pattern is going to continue. So let's take a minute and look and see how many blocks there are, maybe what the shape is. Um, I always like to start with my labeling my stage numbers or my step numbers. Um, these will be called, sometimes people call that step one or stage one, step two or stage two, step three or stage three and step, they've given us four stages or four steps. This would be the stage number one, stage number two, stage number three. So now I wanna think about relationships between the stage number and the number of blocks. And let's go ahead and fill in our chart. I love a table. You know I love a table when I'm having to analyze data. So stage number one, how many blocks are there? Three. Stage number two, how many blocks are there? Four. Stage number three, how many blocks are there? Five. Stage number four, how many blocks are there? There's six. And that's all we're given. But I feel like this is going to be plenty of data to help us find out what it would be, the number of blocks would be at any stage number. When students look at this, pretty often they notice that the number of blocks just gets one bigger each time. So they think, well, I bet we could figure out what number five, stage five would be. And if you said seven blocks, you'd be exactly right. You're onto something. Stage six would be eight blocks. And then we might think, okay, I got it. It's just gonna get one bigger every time. And you would be exactly right. However, if we said what's stage 10, how many blocks would there be? We'd have to somehow go back and figure out how many blocks there were for stage nine. And then we probably could figure out how many blocks there'd be for stage 10 because we're basing it on the number of blocks previously. And that becomes pretty inefficient, especially if I'm trying to find out the number of blocks for stage 100 or stage 1000. Um, so let's think of another way we can determine how many blocks there'll be at each stage. And what we can do here is think about not just the relationship between the stage number and the number, I mean, the number, stage number and the number of blocks. Let's think about, um, I'm sorry, we don't want to think just about the number of blocks and the pattern we see there. The trick is to see the stage number and the number of blocks. That's a relationship that will give us some really good information instead of just kind of thinking, oh, it gets one bigger each time. Let's see if we see any pattern. Stage one, it's three. Stage two, it's four. Stage three was five. Stage four was six. Do you see any pattern that's happening? It's kind of like a number pattern, right? Between this and this. And it looks like two has been added to that, right? One plus two. Two plus two, again, that works. So it looks like it might be stage number plus two gets the number of blocks. Let's test it. Stage number plus two gets number of blocks. And even the ones we continued, that works. So if that works consistently, I can create an, e an expression from the data that will help me figure out the blocks for any stage. And my expression for this relationship would be N, which stands for stage number plus two equals the number of blocks. Okay, we can just make this number of blocks. That could be the stage number, can be an N, right? That letters and symbols stand for unknown amounts. And for this moment, we have some unknown amounts, but we can plug in some known amounts to get some answers. So let's try 10. What about stage 10? All I would need to do is plug in the actual number of the stage 10 plus two, and that will automatically give me the answer of how many blocks there would be in stage 10. What about stage 15? Once you get the hang of it, you almost can't make it hard. In stage 15, I'd go back to my original, remember it was numbers and blocks. In stage 15, stage number 15, the number of blocks is going to be 17. What about 100? What about stage 100? 
in stage 100, you already figured it out, didn't you? There's going to be 102 blocks. So we could fill this out. We could do 1,000. We could do stage number 38. We could do any stage number. Once we've analyzed the information, looked for relationships in the data, and created an equation that will work for every single situation. Okay, so when you're, you're doing shape patterns, um, use some of your number pattern skills and your analyzing skills and your skill of putting data into a chart. And you will be able to find out an expression that will help you solve any, the block number for any stage. Have fun.